creativity, innovation, powertrain performance. As we look to electric vehicles as the clean energy alternative, consider this. The copper rotor induction motor is equal to or better than the permanent magnet motor in price, performance, and reliability. In this program, you'll hear what motor industry leaders have to say about the copper rotor induction motor and why it's a proven alternative for electric vehicle propulsion. Today, many electric vehicle manufacturers use permanent magnet motors in their electric propulsion systems. But high costs and limits on supply have manufacturers evaluating alternatives. Andrew Worley is Director of Hybrid Project Engineering for Remy International, a leading Tier 1 global manufacturer of automotive parts, including ultra-reliable vehicle traction motors. We have several OEMs who are saying, we want to have an induction motor alternative to the permanent magnet machine because it gives us greater confidence in terms of where the pricing is going to be not only next week but next year, the year after. Gordon Chang is the founder of Fukuda Electric and Machinery Company in Taiwan. Fukuda uses only copper and steel in their induction motors, no rare earth metals. Right now, it appears that the future trend will be for electric automobiles to rely more and more on copper rotor motors. This is what our recent interactions with numerous customers have indicated. Wally Rappel is the founder of AC Propulsion, which engineered and produced the induction motor drive system for General Motors Impact and BMW's Mini E. We now have a situation where getting the uh, rare earth materials for the permanent magnet motors is becoming increasingly difficult, both due to supply and demand. The induction motor beats the permanent magnet motor on cost. ACP President Paul Carosa describes other benefits of the induction motor. Many years ago, we moved towards uh, a copper rotor for the increased efficiency and uh, higher power density. To compare with the permanent magnet motor, one obvious advantage of the induction motor is a lower cost of materials because it doesn't rely on rare earth magnets. We realize that even though the copper is more expensive than aluminum, the end result from a systems point was that we were building a cheaper motor. We had a more cost effective solution. Fukuda has collaborated with Tesla Motors on the development of the copper rotor induction motor for the electric roadster. Our current data shows that compared with aluminum rotors, using copper rotors decreases the motor's size and weight by 20 percent or more. When we compare copper rotor motors with permanent magnet motors and automobile applications, the results show the following. At high RPMs and high output, the copper rotor motors perform better than the permanent magnet motors. Induction motors are put through rigorous testing at Remy headquarters in Indiana and on roadways throughout the world. We will then do a lot of accelerated life testing where over a period of weeks or months I try to simulate the entire life of a vehicle. You imagine a traction motor that we deliver will go into a vehicle and it may be required to do 100,000 miles or half a million miles. We have seen that Tesla's copper rotor motors haven't had any problems during the nearly four years that they have been out in the market. This is sufficient proof that this product is already able to pass the so-called four-year field test. This is excellent proof and, for us, represents a kind of trend. What's going to gain the upper hand? Uh, what do we expect to see maybe five or ten years from now? Will we see mostly interior permanent magnet motors as we see now? or will we see uh, induction motors being used increasingly? So I think we're going to see a trend in the direction of induction motors. Reliability, performance, economy. As we consider what powertrain technologies electric vehicle designers will use in the future, copper rotor induction motors lead the way.